Sometimes I join dudes and welcome to a visual novel called Find Love or Die Trying. Apparently I could die trying. But yeah, I just I just saw this game and figured it would be fun to play since we did just play a visual novel. And don't worry, I don't plan on make, make doing another visual novel game after this one. I just thought this would be interesting. And a, probably a different, probably a change from the previous game. Anyways, let's start. Oops, I was not clicked into the game. I go by him. That's very persona. Z, 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 Z. I'm not gonna actually do that. Hey, don't just lie there. Get up. Just five more minutes. You're the star of the show. You can't just sleep through it. Watch me. I try to snore. I don't think that would come. That would come off as good in audio. Oh, that's how you want to play. It's on. Ow! Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Aren't you one of the candidates for me too? Ow, ow, ow. Did you just hit me? No, I just got here. I just chased off the person who hit you. I'm pretty sure that was you. No, I'm pretty sure that was you. What's with the look on your... Ah, uh, darn it. Now we're right back where we started. Uh, ow! Why is that shiny sleepy head? Uh, can I, can I just loot this? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, didn't this just happen? Of course not. There's no way I hit you twice. So you're admitting to hitting me once. Anyway, what was your name again? Oh, my name's... I can't remember my name. Wait, what? I swear, I didn't even hit you that hard. So you are admitting to hitting me. So you did hit me. That's not important. Try to remember. If you can't remember anything, we're both going to be in big trouble. That's why... Uh, why is that? We can talk about why after. What was your name? It's... Oh, this... All the generic music. My name is Asian. It's Asian. You can't remember... I can't remember anything else, though. Wow, I should try hitting my accountant sometime. Do you remember where we are? What you're doing here? No, I can't. No, I can't remember a thing. Things so f everything's so foggy. Alright. I can give you the run now. You're on a reality TV show called Find love or die trying. No, we just call it find love for the uninformed. I'm the producer. The name's Cat. The premise is that you, the suitor, are living with five beautiful women, and one of them is your soulmate. I haven't even I haven't even met them yet. How would you know one of them is my soulmate? That's just how it is. Welcome to your reality TV, of course. You'll get to know two of the girls over the next six days. Over three dates with each of them. On Then on the seventh day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you at the final ceremony. That seems straightforward enough to you, to me. 
Not so fast, partner. The girl you choose. The girl you choose will be given a choice whether or not to accept her proposal. If she says yes, you do get to fade off into the sunset in a gold plated yacht on the last day. Happily ever after. Forever. Except without the yacht. It's a loner. If she says no, well, you're gonna ha We're going to have to kill you. Wait, what? Killed? You're joking, right? Now, that's the reaction I want to see. Really, you look like... Just... Look like I just took a... Dumping your cereal. What's going on? Who are you? Oh, where are my manners? The name's Damien. Damien Black. Really? I'm the CEO of Royal Black Media. The biggest network for Battle Royale games on the planet. Battle Royale games? Like computer games? You've been living under a rock. Okay. Real people killing each other. Other in each other in this season. Is in this season, whatever. What? Well, was in this season, I swear. I put in hard and honest work to, into making top of the line killing shows. And what do I get for it? Now we're trying a new kind of killing game. I see a little romance on top for the people who dreams fart dreams and bake cakes out of rainbows. That's where you come in. And hey, it's not a bad deal. You you might find love or die, whatever. Just put on a good show for me, hmm? Nope. Excuse me, Mr. Black. What is it, one? Is oh, yeah, one. Well, you can't, guys can't even see my mouth, so I don't know why I'm gesturing with it. We're missing one of the aerial cameras for the back fields. Well, that's my cue. The intern ain't gonna shoot himself. Give him, give him heck, Kit Kat. You don't need to tell me twice. Look, I don't know what's going on here. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm getting out of here. For starters, I can barely remember my own name. I don't if I remember I already have a partner. If that's what you're worried about, you don't. And not for a lack of trying. How would you know that? Hey. Look, you don't have a choice. Damien will kill you if you try to escape, or if you tell any of the girls about the truth behind the show. The girls... don't know? They have no idea that your life is in danger. They just think it's a regular dating show about finding your soulmate called Find Love. If you tell any of them the truth, you won't get you you won't just get yourself killed. You'll get them killed as well. Oh snap! How could you? I don't make the rules, Asian. I'm sorry. Or like you are a pretty serious person, Asian. Most people would be a little happier to hear that they're alone in paradise with. Five beautiful women. That isn't... Yeah, mostly. Until you add on top that you're gonna die. Or that you might die. What's there to be... Worry about? What's there to worry about? Oh, you know, the whole... Getting executed... Thing if the girl... I asked says no. 
a little bit with not remembering who the heck I am. How about this? I need my show to be successful and run according to plan. And you want your memories back and presumably to leave the show alive. That depend that depends on what the memories are, but yes. If you will be a good suitor for my show, I'll help you get your memories back. And it's not a bad it's really not a bad idea. Most people would kill for a chance like this. Seriously, all you have to do is get you know five lovely women and ask one out. I'll be with you every step of the way. Off camera. Before you know it, I'm sure you'll have lot be having lots of fun. Who knows? You may even fall in love. You might f be the first. You wouldn't be the first. But if you survive the whole show, I promise that I'll tell you everything you want to know. Speaking promise. How does that sound? Uh, if I say that, I'm gonna die, so... Sounds like a deal. It sounds like we don't have a choice. What? That's the spirit, sugar. Who knows? You might even be thanking me for this one day. I'll see about that. I will see about that. Trust me, I'll make sure that this show will be the best time of your life. It'll be so great that everything after will feel like a disappointment. That's depressing. That's a depressing way to look at it. What if I end up with one of the girls after the show? Anyway, without further ado, let's get started with the show. Follow me. I'll take you to where you'll meet our lovely contestants. Get grabbed me by the hand and pulled me away along. Remember, you can't tell anyone the truth about this dating game. No matter what, just smile. Got it? Got it. We stepped into the... We stepped out of the bar together. I didn't realize that first, but it was a bar in a small airplane. I guess I must have been flown here. We walked until uh, we saw a mansion in the distance. Wow, it's huge. I can't imagine how expensive this place is. You'd be surprised. Since we're all... Since we're all the way in for... In some forgotten corner of New Asia... New Asia? The land comes pretty cheap. New Asia? You have... Have you never... Have you never read the news in the past decade? Memory loss, remember? Right. Well, I'm... I'm... I sure hope you haven't forgotten how to talk to girls. Five, four, three, two, one. Wait, what? We're starting already? Not quite. To give the world top tier enjoy enjoyment, to protect our butts from unemployment. To make the world believe in fate and love. We work like slaves for the shills above. Order Brothers 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Prepare to you. get the set ready. I want to f do start filming yesterday. Oh. I guess we're not important enough to finish our intros. Whose idea was it to work in a TV in the, in the TV industry anyways? This wouldn't have happened if we had 
just decided to be accountant. Wait. Wait by the mansion doors. And thank me later. Stop. It's time. It's showtime, people. Let's get to work. Ugh. Can't read for some reason. Also, they were doing the Team Rocket thing. I walked to the doors. Hey, Adrian. Can you hear me? Cat's voice boomed across the island. Though she was nowhere in sight. Cat? I wasn't kidding when I said I'd be with you every step of the way. As long as you're on this island, I'll be able to see, hear, and even talk to you. Just think of me as a cuter and sexier big brother. I'd rather not. That doesn't sound nearly as good as you think it does. Hey, how else could we film the show? You really want me want to meet the love of your life with a camera sticking out of your head? Good point. Anyway, head into the head on into the mansion already. Go and meet the girls. I recommend checking out the library, the kitchen, the games room, and the backyard. Wink wink nudge nudge. From there on from there on out, the cameras are rolling. Don't be stupid. I'm a guy that's gonna be hard to do. I'll see you later, sweet cheeks. Cat out. Alright, I'm finally here. There's only one thing left to do. Um, yeah, literally one thing left to do. Anybody home? My eyes were drawn to the girl wearing a white dress pacing around the lobby. Hey, what's up? Oh, didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, it's really you, Asian. That's me. How do you know my name? It hasn't been that long, has it? It's me, Yui, Yui Fu Fushikawa. Are, are, we, are they all going to be Japanese? We went to the same high school way back. Come again? Yeesh, you haven't changed one bit. Always forgetting everything important. Is she growling? Wait, calm down. I know how it sounds, but I've got an but I've got amnesia. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't lie to your student council president. That's perjury. It's true, really. I wouldn't lie about this. You really can't remember anything? Really? I wouldn't joke about this. Promise. Oh. I can't believe you forgot. Uh. Apparently something happened between us. I'm thinking that, that may be a good thing. How on earth could it be a good thing to forget everything? You know, moving on from the past is the best way to live and all that. Everyone has things from high school days rather forget, right? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good to see you, Asian. You haven't changed. It feels just like when we used to fool around back that way we fooled around what? Or er, fool around in a family friendly sort of way. Peaky promise. Sure. It's good to see you too, Yui. What brings you out here? Oh, you know. To be honest, dating apps or shows and all the that really aren't my thing. But I saw that you were. Jesus, was f apparent. I'm gonna go out and guess that we used to date, and she still has feelings for me. <laughs> Making me say. Um. Besides that, welcome to the mansion. It's ginormous. 
I'll spare you from embarrassing yourself, asking me it and show you where my room is. Uh, wait a second. I haven't cleaned it up yet. She rushed off before I could get a word. Somehow, I get the sense that this has happened before. I guess I'll see her later. Let's go to the library. The library has... The library was a library out of a movie. Grand, majestic, nothing like your average library which becomes a worn set after closing time. Wait, what? Uh, there's... Okay. I took a few steps forward and noticed a girl with red hair at the back of the library. She was reading a magazine, or so it seemed from the first glance. If you craned her head a bit to the side, you can see another book hidden behind the magazine. A B testing after the apocalypse. First, first edition by DB. It DB is Damian Black, isn't it? Hey, what are you reading? Oh, this just, just another elementary. I mean, it's absolutely f fetched through T bomb. Yes. Oh my gosh. She's smart, pretending to be a a ditz. Can you believe that this one celebrity would, like, date another celebrity? I can't even. It's almost like they're people. I can see what you're actually reading, you know. Oh gosh, this is- that's so embarrassing. Why would that be embarrassing? The book you're actually reading sounds a lot more interesting. Where I come from, people make fun of people who do what I do, I guess. Do that metal library is just a place to film Orn after closing time. <laughs> uh, not like we didn't say that earlier. I'm Scarlet. By the way, you're Asian, correct? That's me. It's nice to meet you, Scarlet. It's not. It's nice to meet you too, Asian. Why is her tongue out? I'm curious. So, what are you actually reading? I thought you'd never ask. Here, let me show you. Uh, Scarlet dropped the magazine and the book be and the book behind it on the floor, revealing a second magazine in her hands. Uh. She ran away so fast, I didn't even have a chance to say it anymore. So she was reading a magazine, just not the magazine she was reading. Wait, so it was a mag- She was pretending to read a magazine, pretending to read a book, but she was actually reading a magazine. Uh, that is... Interesting. I guess there's not much left to do here. I'll head on down to the kitchen. One, these ribs are well done. Thank you, ma'am. They were supposed to be medium rare. Please remake them all before the hour is up. I knew we should have just worked in accounting. Then, I just... Then I have just the opportunity for you. One, I just bought one of the... Name real islands. I need. I need one. I need someone to balance the books. Please have that finished by nightfall, and don't forget about the ribs. I take it back. The side dishes are magnificent too. Keep it up, you diligent worker, you. Oh, sure. You're too kind, ma'am. I. 
don't get what you're. I don't get what you're complimenting about, bro. Violet's amazing, and she's even volunteering to help us lowly peons. This soup's simply delightful. Good work, Bree. Thank you, Violet. Man, she's a hundred times better than four boss us around. I couldn't agree more, bro. Why don't you... One, if you insist on taking so long on the meatballs, perhaps we'll use your meatballs instead. Ow, ooh. Just kidding. No, upon further not, you never need... You'd never need them anyway, so maybe. What? Are you even talking about the same person? There you are. Got a second to chat? Pardon me? I didn't see you there. Just one second. I've got to clean up the soup that one set on fire earlier. Is that even possible? With enough alcohol in it, yeah. Anything's possible if you, you put your mind to it. Even, evi evidently, the same is true. You lack a mind completely. Uh, public education. Not gonna argue with you on that one. Just kidding. Hey, that was uncalled for. Actually, we think the same. We think the same about you on a daily basis. I can confirm that. I wish Mom never had you guys. Apologies for the delay. I'm finished now. I'm Violet. Violet Valentine, so she's Vivi. The pleasure is yours. It I, I don't like this girl already. You already know who I am. I imagine each contestant does. Flying all the way out here for a whole week for a blind date. No one could be that unintelligent. I do hope you are worthy of being a suitor. You'll find that courting a lady is a different sort sport than the other girls. It's true. These one of the two daughters of the Valentine family. Not even richer than only black media. Alright. Alright. Three, your pay is, pay is kept by 50%. Enjoy your evening even cruddier instant noodles. Is it too late to go back to school? It's never too late. I am, how to say, fascinated. I think to see what makes you so special. You look fairly average to me. I guess you'll be in for a surprise, Violet. Do I like it? Do I... Do I like a... A deafening explosion blasted through the kitchen. The spaghetti tonight will be, how to say, a little different. Hope you do not mind. You're not really putting one on the menu, right? One, why is there a hole in the ceiling? Looks like they'll be busy in the kitchen for a while. Do the game room! As I walked into the game room, my eyes draw were drawn to the girl playing on a handheld game device. She looked deep in thought as her fingers moved and pressed buttons at lightning speed. Whoa, new high score! Oh man, it's a shame. I can't submit it. Oh, sup dude. You know what happened to the internet? What? Ever since I came to this island, I haven't been able to get any signal at all. 
I'm literally going to die at this rate. You okay? Tell my followers they were the best. Lit. Mm hmm. I was gonna say she was go gonna be one to two, but now I'm having second thoughts. What does this person even do in this? What does the person do in this situation? Are you okay? No worries. Asian, she'll be fine. Oh, hey cat, what's up? We had to turn off all the internet to make sure no spoilers for the show get out. Tara's just a bit overdramatic about it. You'll get used to it. You know, you tell me I'm being overdramatic when you literally sent us back into the Stone Age. Ah, uh, not really. I'd see more. I'd probably say more than 90s. With games and electricity, the other days and other days, but still. Aw. Uh, I was so excited to stream for everybody when I got here. Uh, okay. You're a streamer? Yes, sir, that I am. I'm mostly a variety game streamer, but I also stream real life too. And I... And I can't now. Maybe you could just record things and post them later. I guess that's what I have to do. Have to do. But that's so last year. By the way, what's this whole show about? Wait, what? I honestly have no idea what I just got into regarding pretty much everything to do with this show. You didn't... You didn't even do a little bit of research before you decided to come here? Hey, hey. Don't get in my face about this. From what I heard from Kat, you didn't either. Hey, amnesia and not doing a little bit of research are totally different. I forgot to do my due diligence and you forgot your life. Same deal. No, it's not. It's not the same deal. Anyway, it's a dating show called Find Love. Can't get explain the rules in more detail, but it's pretty much what you expect from a generic dating TV show. And my name's Adrian. I'm what Cat calls the suitor. Huh? No, oh, it's like a visual novel dating sim game. Except I'm stuck in it rather than getting to play it myself. Yeah, pretty much. I guess so. Well, since this is a game, I'm gonna win it. I'm not sure that's the right way to approach dating, but look out world, Tara's coming, and she's always wins. Tara went off with a fiery look in her eye. I've got no idea where she's headed, but who would? I guess there's nothing left to do here. To the backyard. I've met four, right? Wow, calling this a backyard is calling what happened to the Titanic a leak. The field goes farther than the eye can see. My eyes were quickly drawn into a girl running laps across the field. She's quick. She's getting closer and closer and... She slid and stopped in front of me. Howdy. I'm... I'm Ailey. Ollie. Ollie? I can go with Allie. It's nice to meet you. You're Asian, right? That's... Uh, I don't really care. Care for a job, though? Sure. That sounds... Sure, that sounds... Alright, let's go! She grabbed my hand and pulled me with her at pregnant speed. 
<laughs> She's so fast. It takes all I have, have just to keep my, keep pace with her. The wind in my face feels nice. Now, for some reason, I feel like I've missed this. Actually, I don't think I've ever gone this fast. Come on, come on, keep it up. We'll have you in tip-top shape in no, no time, soldier. She's kind of like a, like the dog. She's kind of like a dog, similar to what she has on her chest. Whatever nice thoughts I had floating in my head were thrown out my, thrown out by my newly assigned drill sergeant. I thought I signed up for a dating show, not a fitness show. And generic music again. Alright, alright. I'm just starting to hit a comfortable pace. That all you got? I only had. Allie was winding the distance between us with a smile on her face. Call me simple, but I started to run as fast as I could. I gained more and more speed and watched as Allie slowly f fell behind. Wow, you're running even faster than my dad did when I when he left. That's sad. What the? I uncon unconsciously slowed down. My face contorted with shock. In just that single moment, she caught up and quickly surpassed me. Just kidding, jeez, no one, no one need to take everything so seriously. Bastard died before he even got a chance to. Oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so... Don't be, I killed him myself. What? The look on your face is hilarious. Don't worry so much, Agent, I'm kidding, kidding. Or am I? I felt my heart start to give out less for less for the running and more from the emotional roller coaster. We finished jogging a few minutes later. I'm completely out of breath. That was fun. That was fun, Asian. <sighs> let's let's run again sometime. I felt my I felt my knees. You catch my breath. I fell to my knees to catch my breath and watch as she walked away effortlessly. But you have to be faster than that to keep up with me, suitor. I laid on the grass like an obese walrus. Guess me for air. Oh, is this how I die? Ugh. I don't think I've. I don't think I have to or be worried about telling Ellie the truth. How with how hard it is to breathe. I think I've, I'll live at least for now. I rolled onto my back and relaxed for a moment. All right, all right, all right. Enough messing around. If you're on the show and you're not. An underpaid grunt, come to the front of the mansion. I guess that includes me. I started. I should start heading over. That includes you too, Tara. I can see you playing, you know. You're not the boss of me. What I have. What I have, I gone myself into. What have I gone myself into? There's six girls here now. But Kat's not one of one just girls to choose from. At least I don't think she is. By the time I got there, Kat and the girls were surrounded surrounding a blackboard covered with scribbles and math equations. Ah, that's why Asian is the perfect soulmate for each of you. I'm sorry, you just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean anything. It's 
like the bullcrud mouth they show on screen in a movie. Ah, oh, you're late. Ah, oh, you're late to the party, Andy. But you're just in time for the first alone time segment. Uh, okay. Alone time segment. You can't find your soulmate without having a little alone time together. It's time to pick your first soulmate, Candid. One of two lonely ladies you'll get to spend time with this week. So, without further ado, who's it gonna be? Wait, I have to choose already? I haven't even had the chance to really talk with any of them yet. No, you think? Don't think of it that way. Think of it more like, well, who do you want to talk to the most right now? Alright, I guess. Okay. Hmm. I think I will pick in the next video. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. And if you're new, please subscribe. And give a friend to subscribe as well. And feel free to comment down below. With all that said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video.